good morning students so back to the lectures on history of malayalam cinema so we had two hours discussing the history just a quick recap we talked about uh, acquaintance with visual performances even before the coming of cinema then we talked about the first films vigada kumaran martanda varma those tragic stories and then we talked about the era of madras studios uh, we had all these productions coming from madras and then came our own productions we have pj cherian's nirmala veli nakshatram which was made at new udaya studio we talked about the successful malayalam cinema in 1950s jeevitha nauga which was the first mega hit and we saw the first superstar tikrushi we talked about the two well established studios udaya studios and maryland studio we talked about the notable cinemas in 50s the two films which changed the face of malayalam cinema one is neelakuil the other one is newspaper boy and then we talked about the cinema in 1960s we talked about all those films which were basically adaptations from literature we have bhargavi nilayam chemmin and all those adaptations of mt's stories murappenna irutinte atma olam theeram etc and then we talked about 1970s we came to know all those commercial cinema which was basically themes related to working class and we saw the emergence of these stars these heroes mg soman sugumaran and we saw a pure star rising he was jain who is the first genuine commercial superstar of malayalam cinema we talked about iv shashi who used to make around 10 to 15 films per year and now in this class we are moving to the new wave or the art film movement in 1970s so basically we are dealing with the new wave happening in malayalam i know that i haven't dealt with uh, the parallel cinema indian parallel cinema so i have kept it uh, for a later lecture and now we will be talking about the new wave or the art film movement in 1970s so we have this films ramu karyat's chemmi p n menon's olam theeru which came out in 1970 and we have m t vasudevan nayar's nirmali which came out in 1973 so these three films these set of films set into motion the flowering of art house films new wave films parallel films that have become the defining quality of malayalam cinema and captured the interest of art film lovers across the nation so in 1970s it was a fertile ground for the development of this particular set of movies which we call new wave parallel or art films so in 1970s we had all these film society movements along with that we got exposure to world cinema and we had all those ftii that is film and television institute of india which is situated in pune we had all those graduates all those professional directors who were trained from ftii along with that the mood of the period it was highly political mood 
it was the period of emergency there was this anxiety frustration all these factors led to this new wave movement and when you discuss new wave movement we discuss mainly discuss these three masters one is adur gobalakrishnan second aravindan and the third one is john abraham so he is not the john abraham you are familiar with this is the director from malayalam john abraham when you talk about the style of parallel cinema parallel films are characterized by mainly by the rejection of popular forms especially the song and fight sequences so these are what is considered to be the masala of a commercial movie song sequence dance sequence fight sequence etc so we see the complete rejection of of these forms and they had this consciousness about cinema as an art and basically it is an art of director so we have john abraham declaring that i am the hitler of my cinema and there is this penchant for close ups and lengthy shots so you will get to know when you watch a nart film there are lot of close ups and there are lots of lengthy shots long takes along with that there is sparse use of musical score a very little use of musical scores background scores along with that you may notice the toned down color palettes the color of the film is not the usual usual jari all those jari looks of commercial cinema new wave films completely avoid all those bright colors in kerala it was produced mainly by k devendranath nayar he was also known by the name achani revi or general pictures revi also produced by nfdc or artist collectivities achani revi actually produced films like all those art films like kanjana seeda tambu kumatti estapan pokuven elipattayam manya mugamugam anandaram and vidhen so he was an industrialist a philanthropist and he is actually credited with fostering single handedly financing the art film movement in malayalam cinema till the 90s from 70 onwards till 90s he was multiple recipient of national and state film awards he was later awarded jc daniel award by government of kerala in 2008 for his contributions to malayalam cinema so we will discuss the works of the masters the first one is adur gobalakrishnan so he is a household name when you talk about malayalam cinema so he has this when you see watch his films you will understand he has a clinical and structured approach towards cinema and film making something you see in the works of satyajit ray as well 
His debut film was Swayamvaram. It actually examines the plight of an unmarried couple living in a small town who tries to cope up with the reality. So it was an unconventional film in both style and content. The film actually ends with the death of the man. So the hero in this film is Madhu. I want you to watch this film. The hero is Madhu and the heroine is Sharada. So the film ends with the death of the hero who couldn't face the reality. He commits suicide and the woman is pregnant and she faces an uncertain future. So the film ends there. His next film, Kodiatum, which is named after a performing style of theatre in Kerala, is actually about the coming of age of a village simpleton who observes life as it unfolds around him. And we have Elipatayam, which is considered to be his best work. It is a kind of a elegic, fintheseical kind of film about a man who is a relic of the disintegrating feudal families who cannot come to terms with modernity. And like a rat, he buries himself in his own ancestral home, which is slowly disintegrating. And his other films include Mugamugam, Anandaram, Madhilagal. Madhilagal is actually a novel written by Bashir. I hope you have watched the movie. We have the voice of KPC Lalada and the hero is Mamuti. And the other movie is Viden, which came out in 1994. There is this Kada Purishan, 1995, Niral Kutta, Nala Uri Pennam Dandanu. These are his movies. Now we have the next master, G. Aravindan. He was a caricaturist and he was most famous for his cartoon series which came out in Madhubhumi titled Charya Manishina Milya Logo. He was also involved in theatre movement. So, his films are noted for its poeticism. The films are basically lyrical, mystical, beautiful and contemplative. But sometimes it is incomprehensible. His films are actually meant for all those serious film viewers, not meant for common masses. So his first film was Uttarayanam, in which he surveys the corruption that has seeped into post-independence India and wonders if the sacrifices of his father and his friends all freedom fighters have been in vain. 
So this is about the angst of an unemployed and disillusioned youth named Devi. The next film is Kanjana Sita. It is a film adaptation of C.N. Sriyandan Naya's play of the same title. It is about Sri Rama who has deserted Sita in jungle and he used Chenju tribals from Andhra to depict the roles of Rama and Lakshmana. And Sita is not shown but portrayed through emotions of nature. So he takes the epic Ramayana and transforms it into a contemplation on righteousness and also talks about the healing power of nature. Tampu, which came out in 1978, was shot in black and white and narrates the arrival and brief journey of a circus in a small village in Kerala. Kumati, it is a children's film drawn on folklore and tells of a magician storyteller who comes to a village. Estepan, it is a film on religious mysticism. It is about a Christ-like figure that defies definition. And his other films include Pokwil, Chidambaram, Oridatta and Vastuhara, in which you see Mohanlal as a protagonist. Now the next director, John Abraham, was born in Chennangiri. As you know, it is in Kutanad. He was also a FTIA graduate, a genius, but he actually epitomized the anarchic artist in Malayali's imagination. He was a chronic alcoholic. He had this first film, Vidyartikale Idile Idile. It was not a critically noted one. And his second film, it was shot in Malayalam. It was Agraharthile Kalve. It received notable appreciation for its satire on the Brahminical bigotry and superstitions. He had this third film, Chariachanit Krura Kutyangal. It is about a feudal lord who becomes a frightened victim of history. Which is in contradiction to the normal characterization as a stereotypical villain set in the background of working class struggles. And then comes his classic Ammarian showcasing the incidents following the death of a young Naxalite upon whose death his friend travel to the village where his mother lives to inform her of the death of her only son. So this movie was shot as a road movie and it was produced by Odessa Collective. It was actually a film movement started by John Abraham himself. Odessa is actually a named after a famous scene in Eisenstein's battleship Potemkin. So you will understand when you study film movements. So this Odessa Collective was a group of people who wanted to make personal films. And this film, Amma Aryan, was their first production and this film was entirely financed by small individual contributions of around of rupees two to ten rupees from ordinary people. So the maximum contribution allowed from any individual was rupees five hundred. Talking about, I told you that he was a chronic and alcoholic. He was an anarchic artist. So he, his death was a controversy because 
during a party he fell off from a rooftop and to say that he was not identified by the hospital authorities and was not given due attention and which led to his death so that is john abraham there are other notable figures p a bakker known for his films kabini nadi chuvanna pool chuvanna vittugal sanga ganam we have tv chandran with films alice in the annesham pondan maada ormagal undayirikanam paadam onnoru vilabam we have shaji and karu who was earlier cinematographer for many g aravindan's films his first film as director was piravi swam and then came vanaprastham with mohanlal and along with that we see the emergence of a middle stream cinema which is also known as madhyavarti cinema in 1970s which continued in 80s as well so this is a synthesis of art cinema and popular cinema and it tried to explore many meaningful and unexplored themes sometimes taboos as well we have important directors bharatan patmarajan k g george so they worked in the commercial industry and distribution but with a new take on themes and styles we have bharatan his important films include thagara yadi nirvedam palangal kaattate kilikoodu taalvaram vaishali amaram so hope you have watched some of these movies so he had this background as a painter which enabled him to create frames that were often credited for their visual beauty so the perfect example will be vaishali all those frames were first painted by the him and later made into shots so we had visually appealing shot compositions several of his early films were known for their bold portrayal of sexual themes films like tagara and the plot were themed on non stream non mainstream socio cultural milieus we have talwar etc the other person is k g george who belonged to middle cinema madhyavarti cinema he was also an alumni of fti he is known for the perfection in screenplay he dealt with several genres including detective to such as one of the greatest thriller of malayalam cinema it is yavaniga and he had a feminist we see a feminist perspective in his films he is noted for his deep psychological analysis and character study of the human mind so he has his debut film sopnadan which won the national film award for best feature film in malayalam and his other films include ulkadal meela legeda maranam with flashback adam inde variyal panjavadi palam the best sate malayalam cinema has produced i would strongly recommend you to watch this film panjavadi palam the best satire i have ever seen in malayalam cinema and the last is iragal which came out in 1986 85 and there is there is also one another one it is matteral which came out in 1988 and then comes patmarajan so he was already an established writer in malayalam even before coming to cinema so he had worked as a screenplay writer for filmmakers like bharatan and ivi shashi 
he had his first film peru vaniyambalam and his films is noted for unheard features and subjects themes it talked about forbidden love and we see the characters that strive to rise above the limitations of middle class malayali society of the 70s and 80s so there is this subtle lyrical quality in his films so we have kallan pavitran urdathuru failman season to one thumbigal i hope you have watched this film deshaadana kiligal karyarilla so that particular film is i should, i would say it was the first movie which dealt with lesbianism so i'm winding up my lecture so in this class we were mainly discussing parallel cinema and middle cinema i hope you have watched some of these films you will be familiar with some of these films so please go to youtube if you have any interest to watch any of these films it is all available in youtube if you have any doubts please message me so thank you girls have a nice day